Welcome back everyone to my 100 day solo series in Kenshi. Let me disable the HUD. What is this, my first Kenshi video? Come on now. We're back in the world of Kenshi. Tom Foolery is of course healing again. We're in a bar. A lot of you guys mentioned getting camp beds. The camp beds heal at 400% and the bed we're using heals at 800%. So we heal twice as fast in that bed. I mean, I do need to get another one, but that's why we're hanging out right here right now. It is crazy where we are right now. We're in the gray desert. As you can see, there's like mechanical spiders fighting. There's some skimmers over there trying to eat people. Bone dogs running about. Lots of wild and crazy times in the world of Kenshi. But today, tomfoolery is going to be migrating and trying to do something that I thought would be a really good idea since we're on day 78 and i mean we're pretty strong we can still get stronger of course but our stats are looking really nice i think it's about time we get our engineer level up and build tom Fodery his own base this is a uh pretty crazy idea seeing as we're just playing as a solo character you know it's just tom Fodery, no one else i mean we can hire mercenaries but that's about it so what we're going to need to do is go over to this place right here, the mechanical shop. I don't have a, a lot of time to dick about, you know, we can't just be getting hurt in this episode. We can't be running around to the bars waiting to heal. All right, we're going to Shem, okay? We, we, like, Tom Vullery doesn't have no baby mom. The world of Kenshi, this place is a lot more peaceful. Ah, uh, look, at, look, look at that. Look, look at the graphics, dude. Look at how smooth the game is. This is not nice. Let's get immersed in our world of Kenshi. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. But I want to go to Shem. If uh, anybody watched the Kenshi Let's Struggle Season 2, you might remember that our uh, good old boy Harold, the king of that series, he settled his base down here. And I know this place is a great spot to set a base. On a downside, I do know we're going to have like Band of Bones, um, Holy Nation possibly, even other factions. Set even with a TH, dude. Oh my. Let's make that a new thing. <laughs> or let's make that a new thing. Imagine if I did that for a whole episode, every TH and V was switched. Wow. Shem is pretty good. As you can see, there's water here, and it's not acid water. Tom Foolery can actually swim in it and have a fun time, man. Look at how cool this is, dude. We, we, we could have, like, a backyard pool. So that's kind of a plan. We're going to look at a landscape around here, and we're going to try to find the best little spot to settle down in. So yeah, we basically got high fertility. There's not a lot of, like, wandering enemies other than bandits and beak things. But both of those I know Tom Foolery can handle. It's really the factions or when a large group shows up to raid him. That's when it's going to become a problem. Oh, yeah. Another thing I really like about Shem, too, is the lighting. Like, everything in this spot of Kenshi, honestly, just looks great. There's lots of floral, little trees and stuff. Yeah, I think somewhere around this area would be cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Tom Foolery's got beak things chasing him. We are super encumbered, so I'm going to drop the backpacks quick. And we're going to get Tom Foolery to fight the beak things. I'm not sure how much damage he'll take from a hit. Oh, there it is. Three damage. That's not bad. Oh, that's a cool photo right there. <laughs> yeah, I, it is a cool shot, man. I, I still remember where... Well, I was watching it the other day when Tom Foolery was at like day one. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Now I, I, I know he can fight beak things. If this was even like day 30, we'd be running for our lives right now. The beak things should be running for their lives, if anything, dude. They have no idea who they're trying to pick on by fighting Tom Foolery. It does take a while to even defeat them. I mean, we got two down now, three down, one more. There we go. And grab our backpacks again and go on our way. So Tom Foolery didn't get too hurt from that, which is good. So let me get him to prospect the area. Oof, no iron? Well, there's iron this way. Okay, that's that's not that far. And there's copper uh, this way. Yeah, over there. So yeah, I think this might be a good spot. A thing with building a base, if you don't know, is of course, once you build it, it attracts like a lot of enemies. I'm going to try to make it fairly big, but I want... Oh, is, is that Dust Bandit already coming to try to kill us? Okay, let's just deal with him first. Oh, now he's running away. Piece of shit. You get back here, man. You interrupted my building. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. Dust Bandits do hang out over here, but I don't think they can really do much damage to us. Yeah, they, <laughs> they hit for zero damage. That's really bad. All right, let's try that again. And come on, man. Ugh. The walls always want to screw with you. There we go. So that looks good. Now we just got to get rid of like this part here, I believe. And then already a dust banded inside. Damn. I haven't even built the base yet, dude. No, I want a good line of sight to fucking kill them, man. I, I mean, I guess this will work. <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty crooked, <laughs> crooked gate, man. Hey, I can't live with that. I can't 
do that, dude. I got an idea. Um, however, characters in the way. Okay, there we go. We got a gate right there. Now the walls can extend out into the gate. Booyah. Okay, so now we got the frame set up. We don't even need to build this. As long as we got it there, it's better than nothing. What we really need to build is a manual stone processor, as well as a stone mine. Oh, shit, man. I didn't calculate this far. There's no stone in this area, dude. We, we can't get stoned. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to go on the border of a swamp, but, I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> we already got beak things trying to chase us, man. Alright, well, first, let's see. Where can... Yeah, we can put a stone mine, like, right here. We can get stoned over there. And we're gonna put the processor, like, right next to it, of course. Let's set up, like, a parameter of operations. We'll leave a little path so the NPCs can, like, wander by and whatnot. I think down here is where I'm going to lead everyone. Or like, this is going to be where we exit. There we go. And then we connect. No, we can't. Oh, come on, dude. It's not level. <laughs> Bastage, man. How how do you get this to work? Whew. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, uh. No, it, it doesn't look like that. It looks like a potion bottle. Shut up. We got our nice potion bottle shaped base. Let's hit confirm. Oh, wait. We can actually put down. I would say. Yeah, we probably need a storm house because if we don't get a storm house, we can't really have the research bench in it. So we'll get a storm house and find a spot to put it. This right here will do. Booyah. And we now have a base. I mean, we're going to have to switch backpacks quick. Then let's try to build the stone processor first. <laughs> I mean, after we uh, fight these guys. So this is going to be the main problem while building the base. There's going to be lots of enemies coming up and whatnot. Oh, uh, great. Even more beak things. Pack of dust bandits. We're like right next to my least favorite spot in the game too, the swamp. But I guess while Tom Foolery is making a name for himself, we're going to call this just... Tom F Foolery's... No, we're gonna call this the tra Trap of Foolery. Not because it's like a trap house or something ghetto. I mean, we are kind of in the ghetto. There's beak things and dust bandits and starving bandits around. Like a hundred guys fighting over there. Hungry bandits and whatnot. There we go. Tom Foolery can get back to building his nice stone processor. Wait, no he can't. This bastard shooting at him. Oh yeah, someone mentioned to tick this thing up so you guys can see all the extra stats. I mean, I can... I'll leave it up for like the rest of this episode, see how you guys like it. Leave some feedback, let me know if you like uh, that little thing, because it takes up more of a HUD, but gives you guys more information. Tom Foolery, don't fight the beak thing where you can't fight him. <laughs> just sitting in the water, getting swung at. Aw, oh, man. This it, just will not end. I mean, that's alright. Builds character, you know. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I try to put this together fast before somebody comes by. Ah, oh, man, they're doing it. They're, they're doing zero damage. It's just annoying. How many of them do we need to kill? Oh, great. Now hungry bandits are attacking. How do the hungry bandits? They're doing two damage per hit. The dust bandits can't even hit for one. Look at this guy. He's attacking my fucking door. I haven't even built the house yet. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> it's a fucking scumbag dog. <laughs> you just don't deserve that. I haven't even built the house yet. Just the foundation of a door is up somehow. I don't know what's holding the door. Can't even have that without them attacking it. Bastards. Okay. We got the stone processor built. That's good. That's a start. Oh my god. He he's he's awake again. Look, and his buddy's gonna go join him. So I'm building this stone mine first, so. <laughs> I can try to have a consistent source of stone. I don't know how this is going to go, though, because, well, Tom Vuller is the only person that can t defend the base. He hasn't gotten hurt too much. He's kind of healing faster than they're hurting him, but still. This is ridiculous, man. He, he can't have a second to breathe. He's also just about run out of building materials. Yeah, we only got two left, so after this, we're going to have to start making some. And I'm going to be trying to make some because I think it's a little bit more fun to show you guys how to build the base up self sufficient wise you know as long as you have like 20 to 30 building material and you place down your stone processor and your stone mine you can build more building materials and go on from there but uh i think yeah like the stone processor uses iron plates meanwhile stone mine is like building materials but it produces building materials from the raw stones so it will take a while to do but as long as we get tom Fullery's skill up he'll be able to do it really fast eventually oh my man they just don't stop 
They're gonna end up breaking the door before we're even able to build the house, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. My. Yeah, we, we, we can't even mine the stone, like, really efficiently yet because there's still beak things in the area. I can skin them quick so that, uh, it kills them or whatever. Like, none of these enemies that are coming up have any chance of hurting tomfoolery. Look, he's healing faster than he hurt him. But the problem is that it just stalls out so much time. I already said we don't got time to dig about this episode. But one of the things we do have to do is also increase our laboring skill. It's currently at level 4, which is not good. Oh my, look, one of the tech hunters arrived. Wow. Oh no, what are they doing in here? Why are there six of them? Get them out of there. Don't let them live in their tomfoolery. Oh no. They got them stuck in the wall, man. Come on. No way, dude. No way. I'm, oh my. I'm gonna have to reload a save. I'm gonna have to reset squad position. I don't like hitting that uh, build nav mesh thing or whatever. Every time I've ever done it, all the game has done is crash. So let's do the safe option. It's gonna take longer, but <laughs> we can do it. Right, load game. Solo. Reset squad positions. Ooh, look at everybody just <laughs> collapsed to the ground. Okay, but Tom Fullery's back. Um, we can finally start getting to mining some nice stone. Mining stone is one of the most, like, brain-dead tasks in Kenshi. It's nice when you got a bunch of characters. Like I always said, you know, like, set up a few of your characters to mine stone. Because you gotta get laboring skills anyways. And it's a good, like, passive revenue source. There are more bastards going inside of a house. But as a solo character, you can't really just spend all your time, you know, like mining for stone. It's not really the best way to spend your time, but we're doing it right now so that we can get the level up and do it faster as a whole. As like, I want to give it at least, you know, a couple or a few days and see if we can build like a majority of the walls and whatnot. Maybe even set up some turrets or harpoons, or I'm not sure. We might just want to set up a research bench first. If we get the better harpoons or better turrets, like that's just going to be a lot easier. Oh, we are also working in the darkness, which is not good. Oh, uh, so we should definitely focus on trying to get one building material. So we can have a little light post to stand by. Tom Fuller, he doesn't have any building material yet, which, which blows. But what we can do is we can get these raw stone right here and put it into the processor. And now he can start to turn it into building material. It takes a while, but he's still leveling up his laboring skill. Slowly... <laughs> but surely he's leveling it up and we now have the tech hunters back so at least they can protect us while we're fighting all these guys hopefully when i notice the contract ends i can like find their leader and talk to him quick because i would hire them for another few days if they actually protect the base we don't need them permanently but as you saw <laughs> it'll be pretty crazy trying to set this base up with all those bumbleheads running around we already got flies starting <laughs> oh no Jeez, man. Like, by the time Tom Fullery finishes making this building material, it's going to be nighttime again anyways, so it's a good thing we're focusing on that damn lamp. But this is why we got to get it up anyways, and we also got to get better um, processors. I could have got, like, a way better processor had I stayed at the hub and spent more time researching, but we did not do that. All right, great. Now, look at that. We got a light. <laughs> Isn't that nice, man? Look, look at it. Now when Tom Fullery mines at nighttime, he's not going to have like such a huge debuff. Oh my, I did the TH thing where I switch it out with FF. What's wrong with me, dude? What's wrong? I wonder if I notice it more when I'm recording than when I'm in like real life or like <laughs> in the real world. That's terrifying, man. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Get away from me, dude. All right. Maybe we, we got to go back to the hub quick. Because I think I have at least books in my old research benches. That and my like engineering research. There's no way I got too far into it. Oh, great. Tom Fuller got himself on top of this big hill and he can't get down. He has to go all the way back now. And I clicked on the hub too. I didn't click on this like random bumble at fuck hill. I clicked on the hub. Whatever, bro. <laughs> at least at least we're not swimming, okay? Could be a lot worse. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, I, I have some research going off right now. I think I left the books in this one? Yeah, we got four books. We got some engineering research, some ancient science books. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got a lot in here. Okay. Ah, uh, why'd I put those in? Oh, man. Okay, I picked out a lot of stuff to research. I gotta do the same thing here. I gotta go get a, a light post. And I'm sorry, but we gotta do it. We gotta spend at least a day or two researching. Don't worry, it's a good thing I edit these videos.
Trust, man. I, I like watching gaming videos, too, and I, I just can't stand, uh, you know, nothingness. I like commentary, but I can't stand nothing. But over on top of our human taxidermy store, which we're, we're going to elaborate more on eventually, I promise. So I'm going to do, yeah, we can work right there. We're just going to set up a light. We can't use one of power, I don't think, or at least it's not a good idea. I mean, we can try. No, no, no. Let's just do a normal torch post. This will give us light during the night time, so we don't lose any, um, like, efficiency. The stats do go down if you're working the darkness, so at least that will keep tomfoolery nice and bright. And get all this research done as fast as possible. So, I'll see you guys when he's got, <laughs> well, this entire list done. <laughs> All right, I, I I know a lot of you guys think this sucks, but it, just imagine how I feel. I got, I'm the one who has to sit through this shit. This ain't fun, bro. I'm going for a smoke. Woo! Okay, I'm back. Aw, oh, man. He's still going. All right, that's okay. I guess I'll dick about on my phone. I feel great, though. I feel like Popeye when he <laughs> eats his spinach and shit. Not, not his shit. <laughs> he, Popeye doesn't eat his shit, but he eats his spinach. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been a few days in game and we're finally here. We're down to Wells 2. The last one that I have, I'm gonna take the rest of the research that we have over to the new base. I might even stop in at Squin really quick and just cheat a little bit. Booyah, we're done. Okay, hopefully we're not coming back to the hub for a long time. <laughs> this is a land of the savages, dude. I mean, any game you spawn in, it's just a land of the savages. All right, first off, we're gonna buy another backpack. I gotta get one of these wooden backpacks right here, and then we're gonna switch it out. I know, now we got three backpacks. A little bit insane, but we need them. Because here, we're gonna be buying up, well, seven building materials? Wow. Does this guy have any? No? Jeez, man, that, uh, that's pathetic and sad. At least grab some books, and then we'll probably grab some food, because we won't be back for a while. Let's stock. Let's stock right up on dried meat. I'll go hit both of the bars, and then we're off back to the... what I call it? <laughs> the Trap of Foolery? Yeah, the Trap of Foolery. Let's go. We're encumbered, so we're actually getting strength experience. If we can find a dead body somewhere... Yep, over here. We can lift this guy up and get even more experience. Well, we're running with an encumbered inventory and a dead body, and we're still faster than the NPCs. Are these guys trying to chase me? Yeah, good luck, dude. You don't want to fight tomfoolery. Trust. Well, we just got to level 58 by doing this. Oh, no, man. I can slow down in the swamp. Even tomfoolery on my new computer can't handle the swamp, man. That's just the AI pathfinding. This place is brutal. He's just trying to calculate spots. I mean, at least he's not running through the water. I'd rather him doing this than trying to swim. Ah, yes. We are back home, finally. Have a trap of foolery. And continue building our house a little bit. But mainly, we can upgrade this. But we do gotta get power here. So, what we can do is we can set up a wind generator. We're gonna have to mine some copper. But I'm pretty sure there's some copper nearby. It's got all the iron plates it needs. Now it just needs copper. Oh, I see a small, small one over here. That's perfect, though. We can go over there and get that. Just gotta be careful because there's a lot of fighting going on over here. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even continue to fight Tom Fuller. He just hit him once and then left. I like these guys. <laughs> They're trying to shoot Tom Fuller. But copper's in the way. Oh, oh damn, man. I... I I can't believe he moved. I thought he would have been there forever. Moving was probably the most dangerous thing he could have done, because now Tom Fullery has to fight him. Well, so this part in itself will take a little bit, but as you can see, mining copper, it uses laboring, which uh, <laughs> we only have level 6 in right now because we're working of a darkness. So we might need to want to build a torch post or something out here eventually, but at least for now, okay, we're going to get 5 copper. Probably by like morning time, and then we can build that wind turbine. Alright, there we go, we got it. So now, let's go back to the wind turbine, finish building it. There we go, we now got the wind generator set up, and yep, it's producing some power. We can go ahead and upgrade this manual stone mine 
to a stone processor too. This will just make it like a little bit faster for tomfoolery to get all these building materials. And then ideally with our access building materials, I think I have a few because yeah, seven of them. We can uh, upgrade the stone mine at least a little bit. And this way, I mean, once we have a wall set up, it's going to be a lot nicer. <laughs> but this way, eventually, we're going to be able to be like completely self-sufficient. Just tomfoolery and us. And I mean, whoever we hire and whatever bandits try to raid us. <laughs> Holy assault moving towards Tom <laughs> Trap of Foolery. Allied reinforcements on the way to Trap of Foolery. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my, is, is Squin sending checks to come help us? Where's the Holy Nation? Oh, they're, they're pretty close too. I think that's them up here. Just means we're going to have to work as fast as possible. Let's try to get this uh, stone mine upgrade to a stone mine three. All right, there we go. Now we got a stone mine three. And yeah, that's a lot faster on full speed. What about this? Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's going faster. Processing the stone faster. Oh my, there's like a whole army of them in here. Dude, get out of here. This is my house. I, I just built this like two days ago. It's not even finished being built, dude. You can't even walk in it yet. All you can do is click and try attempt to build it. I don't even know how they got in. Oh yeah, I guess the door is wide open. How about we close that door and lock it? I'm still one building material away from building the house. Come on. I need I need to at least get the house done. Oh no. Purge malls, dark ones. Oh my. <laughs> I didn't know it'd be this crazy, dude. I mean, I know we got a 100k bounty, but come on. What is, what is this nonsense? Can we even kill all these guys? I mean, maybe. Luckily, there's dust bandits and nomads around. It looks like the Sheks are on their way. They're pretty close by, so Tom Foolery's gonna have to really hold his own for this. All right, Tom Foolery, you better heal fast. They're coming. You can't see them, but they're coming through <laughs> through the text. <coughs> All right, where's our crossbow? Let's get this thing out. I remember to use it. We got to switch our weapons. We got to change our armor and take it off. <coughs> as well as get rid of any encumbrance we have. That means backpacks as well. I will have to pick it back up to uh, use it after. But let's start the fight. Oh, wait, I, I, I can't use it. I, I got the bolts in the bag. Oh, my God. All right, let's take some let's take some bolts out first, and then let's drop the backpack again. And now let's start the assault. Shoot him, Tom Fullery. Oh yeah, there's beak things. There's tech hunters. We we do have a little bit of assistance, but this is insane. There's a lot of them. The tech hunters we have are pretty high leveled. Meanwhile, the holy chosen aren't that high leveled up. Oh, this guy's really near. Okay, we might have to switch out already. Let's go. You know what? Tom Fullery doesn't even need to use range against these guys. The Sheks are almost here, and Tom Fullery's ready to fight. This is a Paladin, too. One of the stronger Holy Nation units. All right, let's go. Let's go help our comrades. You know, this guy's fighting all alone. Oh, yeah, it's no problem for Tom Fullery to knock them out. One hit basically kills all of them. These guys take a couple more hits because they actually have armor and a little bit better stats, but... Oh, five damage? That is still rough, though. Five damage isn't good. Oh, and there's still a bunch of them coming from this way. They're just stuck fighting some of the random NPCs. All right, Tom Fullery, don't get ganged up on. We gotta play this smart. Run back a little bit, and then we'll heal. Okay, <clears throat> now get into it. Now do it. Yeah! All right, there's only five of them here. I think Tom Fullery can take down these five. After this, there's still, like, dozens left. But, I mean, at least if we can take down this little group, it's a lot uh, easier to fight the rest of a group. You can do it, Tom Fullery. So only three left. Oh, man, we're getting hit a lot, though. Not really getting damaged too much, but... Oh, look! It's our boys! It's the Shex! The Shex are here to help! Oh my, it pays to have friends in Kenshi. Oh wow, time for battle. Today we make history, a mass grave for the Okernite dogs. <laughs> and the Holy Nation assault against Trap of Foolery has ended. We just defeated it. Well, it's nice that they came. That was pretty cool still. We did it. They're all dead. The allies arrived. We can uh, clean up the scraps over here if we want. Like this guy down here. No survivors allowed. Now let's pick up some backpacks. And we can get back to uh, the main task, building our house. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got our building material. Okay, let's finish it. Our door condition is at zero. Did it get in again? There we go. I fixed it. All I had to do was click it, hit repair. Oh, what was that noise? Is that the door opening? Oh, wow. That's awful. 
But it's day 84. We got a lot of progress done today. Setting up the base. Well, for the most part. We still got the walls to build. As well as the gate. I might even just do a redesign. Because now we have even better walls. But if you like this video and want to support me even more. Then leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell icon. I want to thank my first patron for supporting the channel financially. If you want to check out my Patreon. I put up a free post of a public. That explains a little bit of what I plan to do after this series is complete. As always though. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.